In this project, we will learn how to interface with a Wii nunchuck using the Arduino. The nunchuck is an inexpensive component and packs a lot of functionality with an accelerometer, joystick, and buttons all housed in one assembly. It can be used to control many aspects of your electronics projects. We will see how the Arduino nunchuck adapter can be used to interface with the nunchuck and will incorporate a handy third-party library to communicate with our nunchuck. We will eventually use the nunchuck to control our pan-tilt assembly. Let's take a look at the objectives. By successfully completing this project, we will have mastered the following items. You will understand how to connect the Wii nunchuck to the Arduino using an Arduino nunchuck adapter. You will also understand how to take measurements from the nunchuck using the Arduino nunchuck library. If you are ready to begin, let's get this project started. Here are the parts we will need. An Arduino Uno, a USB cable, a breadboard, a Wii nunchuck, the Arduino nunchuck adapter, and connecting wires. Let's first address how the nunchuck works. The Wii Nunchuck Accessory Bus actually has a 6-pin data connector. However, only 4 of those pins are actually useful to us. Using the handy Nunchuck adapter, we can plug this into our Wii Nunchuck and connect the other pins to our Arduino. There are 4 pins that are exposed to us. The negative pin is connected to ground the positive pin is connected to 3.3 volts and the clock and data pins can be connected to any Arduino pins. We will be using pin A5 for our clock and A4 for our data. By using the Arduino Nunchuck third-party library, we will be able to communicate with our Nunchuck in code. We can determine the position of the joystick and gauge accelerometer measurements. We can also determine if buttons are pressed. We will see some of this in action in more detail when we examine the code. Let's take a look at our circuit diagram. Once the Arduino nunchuck adapter is connected to our Wii nunchuck, the wiring is very straightforward. From the ground pin on the Arduino, we connect to the ground pin on the adapter. The power pin on the adapter is connected to the 3.3 volts pin on the Arduino. The data pin on the adapter is connected to pin A4 on the Arduino and the clock pin on the adapter is connected to pin A5 on the Arduino. That is it. That completes our wiring. Let's go ahead and wire up our Wii nunchuck. So this is the uh, Wii nunchuck adapter. Uh, as you can see, it's very tiny. This end is where we plug into the nunchuck and it has four pins. So there is a, a clock pin, a data pin, and the positive pin goes to the 3.3 volts pin on the Arduino and the negative pin goes to ground. So very tiny. Here is the uh, Wii nunchuck. And all we need to do is take our uh, nunchuck adapter and we're going to connect it, as you can see, uh, in the actual Wii nunchuck external accessory. And now that's in there securely. So once that's in, that's the connection that we need to make. And now we can plug this into our breadboard. So I'll go ahead and uh, plug that into the breadboard. So our first connection is ground. We're going to connect uh, ground from the Arduino to the ground pin on the nunchuck. Next, the 3.3 volts pin on the Arduino. So just remember that that's the pin above the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. We're going to connect that to the positive pin 
on the adapter. Next, the serial data pin will connect that to pin A4 on the Arduino. And the final connection is the clock pin. We will connect that to the pin A5 on the Arduino. Okay, that completes our wiring. Now we're going to go ahead and upload the code to test out our Wii nunchuck to see that we can take the readings. Uh, one thing you'll want to remember is that we have to include that Arduino nunchuck third-party library. I'll go through that uh, when we delve into the code, but um, if you're trying this uh, initially, remember you have to install that library and restart your Arduino. Um, I have actually taken the uh, sample program, the Arduino nunchuck demo uh, from Gabriel Bianconi. hope I pronounced his name correctly. Uh, he wrote this library and I modified it slightly to add in some more comments with regards to the X, Y and Z positions and so forth. So it's the same sample program, but I modified it to add in some more comments to make it a little clearer when we're looking at it. So I'll go ahead and upload the code. And while that is uploading, I'm going to open up the uh, serial monitor. Okay. All right, so it's finally completed. So what I'm displaying is the X and Y coordinates of the joystick, as well as the X, Y, and Z accelerometer axes, and the status of the Z button and the C button. So here is the nunchuck. I'm gonna demonstrate to you. I'm just gonna hold it in my hand. And I'm going to move the joystick and if you notice, look at the X, if I move the joystick to the left, the X changes to 25, now it's at the center, it's about 122, if I put it to the right, X changes to 212. Uh, similarly, if you look at Y, I'm going to push the joystick up right now, and the Y goes to 220 or so, 221, it's back in the middle, it's about 134, and if I put the joystick down, you'll see Y goes to 39 or 40. Uh, so um, as you can see, you know, by moving X and Y, I'm able to determine the position of the joystick by those readings. So I can equate that to the, you know, the motion. If I, if I move the joystick, I can calculate exactly where the joystick is and translate that into the motion or the movement of an external peripheral connected to my Arduino. If you look at the accelerometer, if I, tilt, uh, if I tilt the nunchuck to the left, you'll notice, look at that accelerometer X motion. Uh, it's about 300 now. Uh, when I tilt it again, you notice it increases to 600 and uh, or close to 700. Similarly, Y, I'm gonna tilt it up and down. So you'll notice the Y is at you know, 570. If I tilt it up, you notice that value changes. It decreases to three something. And if I tilt it more down, it, that accelerometer Y increases to you know 650 or so. And for Z, if, all right, if I tilt like this, you see the Z value goes to 450, 450s and the 450s. And if I tilt it the other way, it increases um, to 500s. All right, so in that way, you're able to measure the accelerometer motions on all three axes. Now let's look at the buttons on top. You'll notice there's a C button and a Z button. If I press the C button, okay, you can see in the code, it's detecting that that's a one. So I'm pressing it again. And similarly for the Z button, I'm going to press that Z button. Notice it's detecting that one and a zero when it's not pressed and a one when it's pressed. So, what this illustrates is using that uh, uh, Arduino nunchuck library, we can determine the state of the nunchuck, the accelerometer position, the joystick position, and whether buttons are pressed or not. So um, really handy library, and this is what we'll be using to be able to control our Wii nunchuck. Let's delve into the code for our Arduino nunchuck demo. 
So uh, initially we have to install the Arduino Nunchuck library. So let me quickly show you um, some details about that. Here is the uh, link to the library. Of course, I will include this in the uh, project resources. But again, what you'll want to do here is you'd want to um, download, click on clone or download, download the zip file. All right, you can, you know, I'm gonna save that to my desktop. All right, when it's completed, you'll want to unzip it. And of course, rename, uh, you know, rename the main folder. You can take off the dash master. So you'll want to copy this into the library subfolder of your sketchbook location. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and do that to show you. My sketchbook location is in my Arduino libraries, and here it is. So. As you'll see, I already have the library in here, but uh, of course, that's where you'll put it. That's the same process that you normally use to, uh, you know, install any third-party libraries, and then you would restart your Arduino IDE. Okay. Let's get back to the code. So at the beginning, we include the wire library and the Arduino nunchuck library. Uh, then we define the uh, board rate uh, the board rate used in the sample program is a little higher than our uh, the board rate we have been using. So that's what you you just want to be mindful of that um, when you're taking the measurements. You want to make sure that you select this 19,200 board because sometimes you might see weird special characters showing up if the correct board rate isn't selected. All right. So as an example, if you had it set to 9600 which sometimes we do for our, you know that's the standard rate you'll see these special characters but um, you want to make sure that this is selected uh, you select 19,200 for this program and you'll see uh, the um, correct value showing up so that's just a quick tip there when you are setting up and running the program so the first thing we do is we create a nunchuck object, which is an instance of Arduino nunchuck. So we create that object, uh, calling the constructor. And of course, you know, this was obtained from the Arduino nunchuck library. We are able to do that because we included that library. Our setup, um, we do a serial begin, we specify the board rate and we initialize the nunchuck object. So we do a nunchuck.init and that will set up our object. In our loop function, we simply call nunchuck.update and that continuously takes uh, measurements of the nunchuck, the buttons, the joystick and the accelerometer, and we simply go through and print those values out. So for the X position on the joystick, we do nunchuck.analogx, we do a serial print that value. Um, for the uh, Y position is nunchuck.analog Y. For accelerometer values, for the X, we do a nunchuck.xl X, XL Y, and XL Z. Right? And that'll give us the accelerometer uh, measurements. To determine if the uh, Z button is pressed, we do a nunchuck.z button, and that will give us a one if it's pressed, or a zero if it isn't. And then for the C button, a nunchuck that C button would give us a one if the C button is pressed and a zero if it's not pressed. So the library makes it really easy to take readings from the nunchuck in conjunction with the uh, adapter that we connected to the nunchuck. And now you have a really powerful, uh, you know, input mechanism that you can use to control your projects. To summarize, in this project, you learn how we can interface a Wii nunchuck with our Arduino using the nunchuck adapter. We were able to take readings from the nunchuck and determine the position of the joystick, accelerometer motions, and determine if the buttons were pressed. I'm sure you can see how handy a component this is to include in your electronics projects. You now have all the knowledge on how to use it 
and will be able to greatly enhance the way you control external peripherals. Let's move on to the next lesson where we address servos for our pan tilt assembly.